Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today I wanted to bring something from CES to you. And that is the OWC, or Otherworld Computing, Thunderbolt 4 dock. I know it says just Thunderbolt on the package, but this is the Thunderbolt 4 variant. And this is a really interesting piece of kit that I'm going to dive into and tell you a few things about. And then what you'll see happen is a cut to a few weeks later, possibly one or two, and just me talking about my experiences with it. So they had a pretty decent showing of different equipment at CES. And as you probably know, I did attend that virtually. And there are a lot of accessory companies out there making a lot of different products. But these guys caught my attention. We were conversing via email and they asked if I wanted any samples of anything. And I said, well, send me something that you think that the average consumer would really get something out of. And this is what they decided to send me. And it was really exciting because I didn't know what was being sent at all until it arrived. I will say right up front that this was provided as a media sample from their marketing department. I did not pay for it and I am not being financially compensated beyond what you physically see in front of you here. My opinions, as always, will remain independent and my own. So with that being said, other than a good showing at CES, they've been making different accessories for years, and you can kind of see the little pictograms of all the things that they do cover. And this is designed to work with both PC and Mac. Now, as of the filming of this video, I'm not 100% sure how many Macs out there are operating beyond Thunderbolt 3, but it does still work, just not at Thunderbolt 4 speeds. Speaking about Thunderbolt 4, this is not exactly what you would call a super common out in the wild uh, piece of equipment or standard, I should say, on a lot of laptops and setups. So if you're looking to build something brand new or you have a lot of new equipment, this is probably going to be an excellent idea for you. And I'll get more into that in a minute. However, if you have more of a legacy setup and you don't necessarily have access to all the bells and whistles of Thunderbolt 4, like the ones that are found on the X1 Nano here, then you might not quite be ready for something this intense. So let's talk about what you get for your money. This is a $279 product, so just shy of $300. And it has a 96 watt power delivery to the laptop of your choice. And that will charge the majority of laptops out there that have USB type C power delivery. There will be some that are in the 100 watt range that they won't quite be able to resupply the power as it drains if it is draining that full 100 watts. Let's open up the box and see what you get inside. We obviously have the dock itself that we'll take out and put off to the side for a moment. And then if we lift up this here, we have a little card, we have a Thunderbolt connector, we have the power supply, and that is it. So as you can see here, we do have a very beefy power supply, and this is going to be 135 watts, if you're curious. So I'll just leave that there. We do obviously have the other end to that, the Thunderbolt 4 cable, and a little card of words and instructions. So you can see all the information, the system requirements are listed there. For system requirements, this is a Mac OS 11.1 or later, or Windows 10 or later, and it does give you a bit more standard information on this side, and the other side is blank. So. This stuff we can take a look at a little later on, so we're going to move it off to the side. Let's look at the star of the show, the dock. Now, on the front, we can already see some really good news. The first off is a full-size SD card reader. Photographers and content creators everywhere know that these are becoming less and less common on laptops and just other setups. And rather having to use an adapter or plug in your camera and take it off the tripod and all that other fun junk, it's just right there on the front, clearly labeled. And that's one thing that I do need to point out is every single thing is very clearly labeled. 
so you don't need to wonder, is it USB 3.1, 3.2, 2.0, 3.0? It literally says it right beneath the port. We do have a USB 2.0 port as it's clearly labeled here on the front, and that's an interesting choice because 2.0 is obviously not the fastest speed available. We do have a headphone microphone combo jack, and then of course we do have the power delivery and connection to the laptop, which is shown by the Thunderbolt label and the pictogram of the laptop. Now on the rear, this is where all of your main IO lives. So we do have the DC in for the power adapter. We have three Thunderbolt 4 ports, and you'll see these little dots above them, and that is for an accessory that OWC sells to essentially ensure that the cable cannot be unplugged or pulled out. If you're dealing with some like hard drive enclosures or data enclosures or some kind of network wizardry where you don't want to be disconnected in the fear of losing something, you can actually get an accessory that essentially stops it from being unplugged unless this top case is unscrewed. We do have gigabit ethernet, we have USB and we have 3.2 over here as well, and they're both labeled. So again, you know what exactly you're dealing with here. The only thing that isn't technically labeled as clearly as it could be is, of course, the Thunderbolt 4 ports. It's a nitpick. Is it Thunderbolt 3? Is it Thunderbolt 4? A little number 4 at the bottom might be uh, something to think about in a future version of this, I suppose. So this is realistically everything that the dock uh, does have to offer. There are some lock uh, configurations on the side, uh, Kensington lock slot and another standard that I just learned about. And this seems to be a very good setup for a photographer or someone that's building a brand new setup that's going to be working with really high resolution monitors or uh, some very complex backup solutions. And that does bring me to one initial thought is that this is obviously going to be geared for people with some very high end setups. It can run two 4K displays or one display at a much higher resolution. And obviously those are going to have to be connected through those Thunderbolt uh, or USB-C connectors on the back. You'll note that there is no native uh, display ports of any kind. Display port, HDMI, VGA, DVI, you name it, it's not on here. So if you want any of those things, you're going to have to adapt them to one of these connectors, which means that you're probably going to daisy chain something else to this. So if you are working with legacy equipment, do keep that in mind that this may not be the absolute best choice. However, if you are working with brand new equipment, brand new 4K monitors that have hubs built into them that require USB Type-C or Thunderbolt 3 connections, this is an easy decision if you're planning on hooking up a mobile workstation to it or your laptop. So my intent is, is now to go away and use this in as many different configurations and setups as I possibly can and report my findings. Unfortunately, I only have the X1 Nano to really fully take advantage of any Thunderbolt 4 speeds and my Thunderbolt peripheral list is rather limited because although Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 have been around for a year or a couple of years now, the accessories have not flooded the market at the same rate uh, unless you're doing some very specific kinds of work. So with that in mind, I will see you in about one week's time. All right. So I've spent some time with this OWC Thunderbolt 4 dock and I've come to a couple of conclusions and the first one has more to do with me than it does to do with the dock and here's what I mean by that. I have practically in my arsenal of computer technology at home no Thunderbolt 3 devices let alone a Thunderbolt 4. This is cutting edge. This is the dock of tomorrow and I feel like I am incapable currently of taking full advantage of all of that Thunderbolt 4 pass-through goodness. Now, what I've done is I've set up essentially what a person in my kind of era of technology might use it for, and I have absolutely no complaints. So to give you an idea of what I have hooked up here, I have a streaming box hooked up to USB 3.0 there uh, to do HD capture. I have my Ethernet cable plugged in. 
I have a dongle which gives me HDMI because this again does not have any native or legacy display ports or VGA uh, or DVI or anything like that. So if I want to plug in an additional display that's not USB Type-C, I'm going to need something like this. That's just the reality of it. I then of course have a USB Type-C portable monitor over here, the Think Vision M15. And then I also have my headphones plugged in to the front, which you can see just over here. And then of course there is an SD card reader on the front and I've got my backup SD camera card there. And if I grab my only Thunderbolt 4 device that I have, the X1 Nano, and then plug in the dock, As you can see, everything functions exactly the way you'd expect. If I wanted to review some old footage, I can of course insert the card there, and then it immediately pops up. Like there is no delay uh, with this being read, and that's what you would expect from Thunderbolt 4 technology. So I guess my initial thoughts about this being, you know, a dock for someone building a brand new system, I still feel that those people are going to get the biggest advantage from something like this with all that Thunderbolt 4 tech. If you are a bit uh, further back in the timeline technologically, then you might look at this and say it's something that you're going to have to adapt to, literally, uh, with little dongles like this. And you can decide whether or not if that is a barrier or you might look at it and say, well, I'll adapt it for now, but then as I get new tech, I know that I have something that's going to support it no matter what. And there is a huge degree of safety in that. Again, though, I feel like this is going to be something that is more likely to be purchased by somebody building a brand new setup. You're going to have two 4K displays for photo editing. You're going to hook up your laptop or your MacBook, you're going to have your stack of camera SD cards right next to this, and you're just going to be plugging and going, listening to some music, and you're going to be doing it on a really cool looking desk. Like that to me is exactly where this product fits in, and that would be the customer that I think it's primarily being aimed at. All that being said though, OWC did a bang up job with this and I think they're a company that I would feel pretty comfortable recommending to you if you're looking for a dock maybe not provided by your manufacturer or that the unique port configuration that this offers is exactly what you're looking for. And at the price point, it's not terrible, especially when you compare it against other Thunderbolt 4 docks, which are not incredibly common, at least not yet. I would like to uh, once again thank OWC for sending me this dock for testing. It's been a very enlightening look at what the future can hold, and I hope you've enjoyed it as well. If you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, I would encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so the next time I get to feature a cool dock like this, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.